Hi, kids. This is Wednesday, seven o'clock class, lesson five three. More intervals. It was so much fun to see you all in class tonight on our Google lesson with Mrs. D. Now, this is a review of everything we did in class, so that you can practice at home and go back and review as much as you need. You'll need two sheets printed out. One is interval worksheet two, and the other is Indian drums. Okay, here we go. You know your intervals: second, third, fourth, and fifth. Now I'll show you the game. Okay, this is how the game goes. I'm going to show you an interval, and then I'm going to give three seconds, and Nico's going to give us the answer. And you're going to see if you can give the answer before the three seconds is up, and Nico shares it with us. Okay, you got it. Okay, for example, this is a third. You're supposed to wait three seconds. This is a third. No, you wait three seconds. <laughs> this is a. Third. There's how we play. Okay, this is a fourth. This is a second. This is a fourth. This is a fifth. Ah! <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. All right. Well, one more time through. Okay. Third. Second, fourth, fifth. Good job. All right. I hope you beat Nico. I hope so. <laughs> All right. Let's take a look at interval worksheet two. These are random intervals that you're going to play. All the way from the beginning to the end for the first three days. Then on the fourth day, you can go back and you can write in the interval: a two for second, three for third, four for fourth, and five for fifth. For example, this is a fifth, so you'd write a five in the box. This is a third, you'd write a three in the box. So it's not only something to practice; it's also your written homework. All right. Let's take a look at Indian drums. First, we look at the tempo on Dante. That's walking speed. Then we look at the time signature: four-four time, four beats in a measure, and a quarter note gets one beat. Then we look at the dynamics. We have first P for piano, and piano means soft for two measures. Then on the right hand, we have F for forte. And forte means loud for two measures. Then we come back to P for piano for the left hand, and we end with F for forte on the right hand. That is called voicing. Sometimes one hand plays louder than the other, and in this song, the right hand will be playing forte, and the left hand will be playing piano. Now, as we look at the notes, the left hand has only fifths. It starts out with fifth, 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 ah, 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 fifth, ah, ah, ah. Second line is exactly the same. The right hand, first two measures, you rest, and then in measure three, you have a C, G, D, E, D, A, C, A. And on the last line, the last two measures are G E D E C A A A. Now notice in measure three, where the words begin, the C and the fifth are lined up on the first beat of that measure, so they will start together. The fifth will hold through the whole measure, and then lift up. And come down again in the next measure with the D, and you'll finish off the measure. There's something else called articulation, but I'm going to show you of that in a little while. Now I'm going to have my assistant help demonstrate. Hi, I'm going to be playing Indian drums like this.
I told you I was going to tell you about articulation. Articulation is whether the hand plays legato or non-legato. Sometimes in music, one hand has to play legato even though the other hand has to pick up and can't play legato. That happens in Indian drums in the first line, last two measures, and in the second line, last two measures. Look at the second line. The G and the fifth have to start together. Then the left hand holds all the way through the measure. But now the left hand has to pick up that fifth and play it again. But the right hand cannot break the legato. It's a little tricky. If you don't get it right away, don't worry about it. But just so you know what it should look like, I'm going to have my assistant demonstrate. All right, Nico's going to demonstrate how even though he has to pick up his hand on the left hand to replay the fifth, he's not going to break his slur with the right hand. He's going to go slow, so watch. That's all. Good job.